We are having a good day here on Wing and Buffalo style. In the kitchen, we have Chef Joe from Mulberry. It's good to see you. Good I'm excited about what you're cooking today because this is one of my favorite dishes. And it has some fancy names out there in the world, but we're just calling it beans and greens. Beans and greens alligatano. We call it alligatano because the sausage is made by Gate Camillo at Sloan Market. Nice. I went to, uh, to Cleveland. I had some sausage, and I came home, and I called him up. I said, Gate, you got to make this sausage. There's um, some cremini mushroom in it, some mm -hmm. spinach in it, and some Romano cheese. And he said, let me take a shot and see what happens. And he nailed it the very first time. It's I delicious. love that. It's I love that good. you can do that. And then wham, bam, you've got this great sausage. I think that's such a key element in the dish. What other ingredients are we working with? Well, just some fresh garlic, uh, some escarole, and some cannellini beans, a little bit of white wine. And uh, basically, it just goes back to the simplicity of Italian cooking. Mm -hmm. it's, this is a true peasant dish with beans and greens. Uh, you know, we're adding sausage, which they may not have done way back in the day. but. Uh, it's, it's a peasant dish in, in nature, in oh, origin. I, it's one of my very, very favorites. I can't wait to start cooking in the kitchen here. And I get the impression it's going to be pretty easy to put together. You think we can do this? Piece of cake. All right, very good. Chef Joe from Mulberry. We're going to send things over now to Emily Linehan, who has dot com breaking news from the Twitterverse. Hey, Em, what's up? We're back in the kitchen with Chef Joe from Mulberry. We are working on our beans and greens. And, you know, we were just talking about our friends from Shays and how exciting it is to have such good performances come through the area. But you, actually, Chef Joe from Mulberry, you have a great connection with Shays. Right. We have a restaurant. We operate a restaurant inside Shays called Della Mostra. Uh, it's been there for about a year and a half. We open up for all the major Broadway shows. Mm -hmm. And uh, this show is not a season ticket show, Jersey Boys, but it's a great show. We encourage anyone to come out and see it. Uh, we are not full with reservations for every day mm -hmm. uh, like we would be for the normal uh, season. So there's still some tables available and come right. on down and check it out. Now, for folks who want to come down, uh, is re reservations are suggested? Uh, most definitely, yeah. Yeah. And what kinds of foods are we expecting when we come there? Yeah, you know, it's just classic Italian food, just like we serve at the Mulberry. It's just a, a smaller, condensed version of the menu down there. And I imagine one of the benefits of actually eating in the theater is you can make sure they get in by the time the show starts. Absolutely. They're without, not going to be running late. Without a question. Oh, for sure. Okay, that sounds great. And uh, Speaking of Jersey Boys, we're going to have them on Winging It, I believe, uh, later this week, tomorrow, and we're going to talk with them because it's supposed to be just a phenomenal show. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Do it. Do you get to see the shows? You know, we, we really <laughs> we don't get to see the shows, although if we, we chose to, we probably could find a way to sneak yeah. in there. So. Oh, I just love Shays. Great theater, great shows, great food. Awesome. Great, great, awesome great. Theater. Now, in the kitchen today, again, we are making uh, greens and beans, beans and greens, but we're doing it, of course, mulberry style, so it is bound to be fantastic. We're going to continue to put it together here in the kitchen. For you in just a little bit, but now we're going to send things over to Matt. Hey, Matt, we are in the kitchen with Chef Joe from Mulberry today, and we have not cooked a thing, and it already smells delicious in here. We're doing beans and greens, but we're doing it mulberry style, right. which means it's going to be nice and fancy. All right. We're going to start with some extra virgin olive oil, maybe a couple tablespoons of that, and then uh, I like to throw a little butter in there too. I do too. Who doesn't like a little bit of butter? We're going to finish it with some butter too. I like that. So make that. sure our pan's good and hot. Okay. And then we're going to add the sausage because the sausage is cold. We've actually blanched this sausage uh, in some water, so it's pretty much pretty mostly much, cooked. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll say thoroughly. It's not thoroughly cooked, but it will finish up in here. We're going to add the garlic. And sliced garlic, you did. Sliced. We're using sliced. You can use chopped garlic, and I always suggest you use fresh as opposed to the stuff you get in the little jars. Yeah. Uh, ingredients make all the difference, you know, and using fresh ingredients and real ingredients. Makes a tremendous difference, and in, in this case, we're using um, some tremendous sausage from Slow oh, Market. Yeah. Now I love this. You had you tasted this someplace else. You came back to your local butcher at Slow Market there, and you said, "Hey, can you make this?" Yep. And a great relationship with a really good butcher, yeah. you get great products. It, it makes a big difference, and I know that uh, they're selling this sausage over there. It's called Gaetano. Okay. It's named after Gate, and uh, like I said, he hit it on the first shot. And they've got a wide variety of sausages over there. And there's other good sausage places in town, obviously Spires and, mm -hmm. and Chimay's, but uh, my man Gate, he's a real Artist. Well, I love it. You said it had spinach and mushrooms in it. I just I think it's going to taste phenomenal. Very it smells good. great already. Okay, so we're, we're going to wait till the, the garlic begins to brown. I'm going to put a little crushed red pepper in there for just a little bit okay. of heat. Not too much, but you know, everybody likes a little bit of kick. We're going to let that cook a little bit. Throw the escarole in. You know, and escarole is such a neat thing. It just looks like lettuce. It does, but it doesn't cook like lettuce. No, it doesn't. And the it, fact that you can cook with it is what makes it special. It's it's uh it's 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 not like a, a true bitter green. It is slightly bitter, but when you cook it, some of that bitterness uh, leaves. Mm -hmm. Just like all the other bitter greens, like a broccoli rob. Cook this here. Watch your clothes. Watch your hair. We'll let that get hot again. We'll throw a little wine in there. But it really does hold a bite to it. It doesn't get soft and mushy it's at all. It's not a soggy type thing. And we're not going to cook it until it becomes soggy. Okay. We're not actually braising it. We're kind of sauteing it. 
you know, sometimes you see it in the store and you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, this is a great dish for that. It really celebrates it. And then paired with the sausage, I think it just tastes phenomenal. Absolutely. I'm going to add these beans. Now, we didn't uh, remove the liquid from the beans because the liquid is actually going to help thicken the dish a little oh, bit. Okay. So it's not so watery. It's your built-in sauce. You got it. And about how, how much is that? That's probably a, one of those small cans, maybe a 16-ounce can. Okay. Oops. Throw that back in there. And then we're going to let that cook a little bit more, and then we're going to add the wine. We don't want to add too much wine because you want to allow the alcohol to cook off. Okay. Because you don't want to taste the alcohol. That's going to make it taste nasty. So <laughs> we're just, we're just going to put a little bit in there. I love the technical cooking terms. And <laughs> yeah, that's all you need. Maybe a little less than a quarter of a cup. You know, you call this a peasant dish, but it has such great flavors, and it's, you know, it's different than a red sauce. So if you, if you need something to mix up your Italian cooking, you want to get away from the red sauce for a day or two, this is such a fabulous option, and the flavors are so good. Without a question, you could smell them. You could smell all the aromas and everything else, and, you know, when we get this going in the kitchen, it's, it just smells yeah. superb, as it smells superb in oh, here now. Oh, it really does. Now, is this one of the dishes you're going to find in the Mulberry menu? This is on the Mulberry menu. That's correct. It's not on the menu downtown, but it's on the Mulberry menu. Okay, great. I'm going to just grate some cheese in here. This is Grana Padano, which is very similar to a Parmigiano Reggiano uh, or a Pecorino Romano, although Pecorino Romano is a little bit saltier. Mm -hmm. So this is more nutty in flavor. Oh, I like that. It's a little less expensive. Whoops. Ooh, I'll try it's a little it. less expensive than uh, than Reggiano. Mm, it's good. Good stuff. Okay. And again, if you're making something with few ingredients, you really want to make sure every ingredient really shines. You want to taste them. You can taste every ingredient. We're just going to finish it with a little butter for some sheen. And you want to put the butter in cold. You don't want to put the butter in warm because what happens is the butter will break down and separate, and then you get basically a nasty looking oh, sauce. Oh, good tip. This is going to this okay. is going to make it nice. I like to put just a little bit of lemon zest in there just to brighten, brighten it up it a little up? bit. Oh, for sure. And when you zest the lemon, you don't want to go too far into the lemon because once you get past that Just the uh, yellow. skin, exactly, it's going to get bitter. And, and again, we're trying to avoid bitter. I think we're ready to go here. You can smell that lemon there. Oh, all right. Chef Joe from Mulberry, a dish that is so beautiful, so flavorful, and so accessible. Thank you for sharing it with You're us. You're welcome. Thanks for having us. We're going to take some of these ingredients for second helpings. You're going to want to stay tuned for that. Make it even better. That's coming up on Winging It Buffalo Style, as well as your forewarned forecast. We'll be right back. Time now for Second Helpings. We're in the kitchen today with Chef Joe from Mulberry, and it has been just delicious. We've made beans and greens with that incredible sausage that you had made for you. Yep. And now we can buy it ourselves as well. And for Second Helpings, we're taking some of those same ingredients and just taking it a step further. All we're doing is basically taking some homemade chicken stock that we made. You don't have to mm -hmm. make homemade chicken stock, but we're taking the exact same dish that we just made. We chopped the, the, the uh, sausage a little bit finer, chopped the escrow a little bit more, and we're just going to add some chicken broth to it. And voila, you have a soup. Oh, I love it. I eat a lot of soup. And again, this is one of my favorite dishes, the beans and greens. You add that to a soup, and it just makes an incredible soup. Absolutely. And, and you can actually, what I should have done is brought an egg. You can whip an egg and throw a little Romano cheese in it. Oh, whip it up nice. together and just drop it in there like egg drop. It just adds a little bit of sheen to a just little an, texture. An, another element. And you even mentioned another element was with the ciabatta bread. Right. Well, well, what we would do is take a piece of ciabatta bread and soak it in olive oil. It's called feduta. Mm -hmm. And you basically saute it on both sides of the pan until it's crispy and use that to sop up all that oh, delicious sauce on the bottom the there. That's the best part. That is the best part. No doubt. Okay. Now let's talk about the sausage again because I tested it during the commercial break and it is delicious. Right. It is so good. For folks who want to try some of the sausage, where do they get it? Sloan Market. It's okay. in Sloan. Uh, I can't remember the name of the street off the top of my head, but you can look it up on the internet. And like I said, it's not just this sausage. Pretty much every sausage they make is dynamite, and you'll find a very wide variety. He's he's got like 12 or 15 varieties all the oh, time. I love it. It was so. It was that good. I really thought it was very flavorful. It's Thank awesome. you, Chef Joe. It's good You're to see you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Great dish. Hey, coming up tomorrow on Wing It a Buffalo Style, we're going to be uh, trying something new. We're actually going to be trying a little hummus. We have some hummus chefs in the studio. We're going to be cooking with the uh, Sabra Hummus Crew. They're going to be swinging by the Wing It Kitchen. And of course, uh, fitness guru Denise Austin will be in the studio, studio and she's going to tell us how to jump start our wellness. And you know, we've been talking about uh, Shays and what's happening at Shays. Remember, uh, Chef Joe from Mulberry, they've got a restaurant at Shays. But we're also going to be talking about the cast from Jersey Boys, a wildly popular show. And they're going to be here in Winging It. We're going to get the dish on their show and all the things you can expect as we move forward with the Shays season. And